everyone. Hi, Jess. Hi, Sharon. Hello. Yay. So I feel like I just need to move that along ever so slightly. Good evening, crafty cats and kittens. Sorry for jiggling you around a little bit, but just trying to get... Live in Lincoln. Yeah. Coming live from Sheffield. That's, that's a little bit more central. Sorry for uh, making you feel a bit seasick there, chaps. Chaps and chapesses. Is that... That's, I feel like I'm not quite straight, like I'm a little bit on the bonk. Mm, okay. Connect. Are we all right there? Yeah, I think sometimes I just need to tilt ever so slightly. And then I'm a bit straighter, aren't I? You mean spirit level out. I know, I do. So that, that feels like that might be... You're pretty much, pretty much steady away there. Have I got two? Might wanna pull it. Pull it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That way a little bit. Down a bit, Sharon says. Down a bit. Up a bit. Down a bit. To me. <laughs> to you. To me. I'm I'm on the wonk again, aren't I? It's because it's a little bit delayed on the screen. So. Do it from the camera. There, I right? can't, yeah, but I can't really see it wow, properly. Oh. Use your eyes. I'm using my eyes. But can't see with my eyes. I don't want to make everybody seasick. I think that's about right. What do you think? That to me as well. There you, there you go. Thanks for adding that extra little touch that made it perfect. Hello everyone. Hello Alison. Hello Claire. Hello Jessica. Hi Lindsay. Yay. Um, have I missed anyone? Claire's colouring her new bears and cats tonight. Yay! Well, I think we're going to do some bears as well tonight, um, Claire. So I think that's what I'd got in, in mind. I thought I might have a have a go at, uh, at doing some bears. Because we did, we did the cats last time and we did our shaped card last time. Which I really, really enjoyed doing. Um, but I haven't done the bears yet, um, so I think we will use the bears, is the plan. Um, and I'm also going to do, I think I'm going to use the, the Say Cheese die. I've got a little bit of an idea of something to something to do that with, the, with that that would be a little bit different. So not just, not just for cheese, but for other things as well. Shani says hello Joe and Anne looking forward been looking hello forward to this there. all week as has Julie Hutchins Hello there everyone Do you want your foot there? Uh, yeah Do you want your foot? I'll let you have it last week Sharon yeah. loves the moustache bear Yes well I think the moustache bear might have to make a, a little bit of a make a bit of an entrance tonight so um, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, which is use some coloured cardstock. But I am liking this coloured cardstock. I love the colour of it, and um, I just love it. I just love it. Um, and we're going to be um, stocking this um, in the shop soon as well. So um, I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, so I'm just going to cut it down a little bit so that it'll go through my um, kind of a die cutting machine because it's uh, an A4 size piece so it just needs to be a little bit smaller um, so loving my um, guillotine that um, I purchased not so long ago as well so how is everyone anyway? How are we all doing? Did we all um, do the clap for carers? The last the one. The last one. Um, the last weekly one. Yeah. They're going to do an annual one, aren't they? Um, now, which is I think is uh, is better now, isn't it? Um, because it you don't want it to lose its meaning. If it becomes too too regular a thing, it, it stops having the same meaning does it I think 
Sharon says, can we have a dress up bear set please? That is such a good idea. I have actually, I did um, sketch out some dress up cats um, at one point, but then I got so far with it and then I don't know, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't quite find a way to finish it, but I love the idea of the dress up bears. That's such a cute idea. Um, so Julie, um, is replying to Shani. What, what, what should we reply? Oh, looking, be looking forward to it all week. Oh, that's cute. Hi, Emma. How are you? Um, so Alison um, is colouring unicorns and rainbows. I do love a unicorn and a rainbow. And Julie's saying, it. did I clap? So hands now that but they've been so much today due to arthritis, heat, and lots of stamping. Done. Stamping. Fantastic. What? That's that's not good that they're super sore though. That is not good. Hi, Catherine. Catherine says hi. Hello. All. Some safari animals would be cool, like giraffes. Oh well, you know you might have to just wait and see. Wait and see what's coming. And uh, you might have some. Uh, you might be in luck there. Not wanting to say too much. <laughs> Not wanting to give too much away. So I've now got my my circles uh, cut out of some of this gorgeous lilac colour, lavender colour, whatever you would call it, um, which I just think is gorgeous. I'm going to get my card blank so that I can figure out what I'm going to do in the background. Has everyone been working on the tans today? <laughs> been a lovely scorchy old day here in England. It Costa has. del Sheffield. It's been glorious, hasn't it? So yeah, so that would be it just on the, the white background, which does look very nice. But I feel like I want to um, add some colour to it. I do like the idea of, of popping those back in in different colours one day. But for the moment, I think what we're going to do is going to keep all of those because, you know, you might use them one day. So I've got some yellow ones now and I've got some lilac ones in the bottom of there. Um, but I think what we might do in the background is um, do a little bit of... Um, a bit of... Uh, Go on, speak with your mouth. You can do it. They even had sun in Scotland some today some as well. Blending. Some blending with me inks. Some blending with me inks, that's what the words I was trying to say. Blending with me inks. Um, highs of nine degrees. That's from me that now. Is, is that you? For, for, um, for Sharon? Yeah. <laughs> Says it's funny. been sunny in Scotland. Lindsay's mm. been at work. Sharon's been, been working. working. Oh. So you're the opposite way around, aren't you, Aunt? You've been mm. off, but you'll be working the weekend. So you're going to miss because it's going to be a glorious weekend, apparently, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? So let me just, I need a little bit of a scrap card just <laughs> to test this. Catherine says she was so white that her skin used to reflect the sun. Yeah, yours did the same, didn't it? Mm. Yeah, then I reached 30 and now yeah. I'm like a... Well, I don't want to say what I'm like, but... You're, you're Medita practically Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Yeah, say I've got a Viking roots. Yes, you are quite Mediterranean. I'm adopting that Mediterranean vibe. So I'm just using some shaded lilac to add a little bit of depth to some of my... Um, some of, some, of, some of my circles. Why can't I speak? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Jennifer Greco's had rain in the Midwestern US. Oh no, rain. I've cleaned the car today, did my ironing outside. Uh, Any excuse to be outside really when it's lovely and yeah, sunny. Yeah, that's it. We do like to be out when it's sunny, don't we? So we've tried yeah. to get all those jobs done this morning because the, um, the sun is on the back. Um, in the afternoon more, isn't it, here, for us. So it kind of reaches 
reaches prime decking at about 11, 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So if we can get as much done as possible by midday, then we know we're going to get the majority of the sun. Alison says she had a lovely early walk by the sea this morning. Oh, that sounds nice. I do love a walk by the sea, but when I'm on holiday... Um, I'm just going to grab a different ink because that ink is a little bit too blue. Emma Ricketts has cleaned out the chickens today, so they've got a nice clean nest. Oh, you got some uh, some pet chickens? Have, I'd love, love to. Love Something to I've said for years. Care. I'd love to have my own chickens, but there's that. just too many cats on on uh, on our street. Yeah, they would be harassed, wouldn't they? Yeah. I think this is a nice a nice lavender colour. I think Rosie wants to climb in and be friends with oh, them. Oh, yeah. Well. I don't know whether she'd be friends exactly. We've got a bit of a problem with the little girl at the moment. She keeps bringing us bumblebees in. They're oh, not alive. She's goodness. not bothered. But yeah. She, not like well, they, the they start will bring off you. alive. Yeah. They don't stay alive for very long. They'll bring you birds or they'll bring you little mice. She brings you bees. Yeah, bees. Which I'm, I'm, I'm fine with bees. I'm not scared of bees. I just don't want them to die. I don't want to be chasing little mice around the house. No, we don't want to be doing that. But we don't. We need to protect the bees. You're right. We do. And she's she's naughty. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Unbelievable. So, let's get a bit of this. Um, and I, I've got a really sore throat as well, so I think I've contracted corona. No, you haven't. Stop being dramatic. He's very dramatic. I have to say. I'm not dramatic. <laughs> You are a little bit dramatic. So I'm just popping down some of this milled lavender um, onto um, one corner. And I'm going to do a little bit of... Um... Oh, can you hear me? You can hear me. Is that on your phone? Yeah, just focus on you. Hon. Sorry. Well, it's distracting when I can hear myself. But... but... A minute ago. <laughs> Jennifer's kids w have wanted chickens for years. Sharon says groan. Groan. I'm not sure what she's groaning at. You probably. Nah. Yeah. Um, Jessica's not enjoying the spider season one bit. I am also not a fan of spiders. No, you don't like spiders, do you? I mean, I don't, I'm not, a, you know, a fan of the spiders necessarily, but I don't run away from them like you do. I have to get rid of all the spiders, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> so I'm just, um, as you can, you can probably see, I'm just adding some pink now across the middle of this background. I'm just using a circular motion with my, um, with my blender brush, just so that that blends in um, nicely. And with the Distress Oxide inks, the more ink you lay down then the smoother the blend you get obviously the blender brush as well really helps as does the card blank so i'm doing this straight onto my card blank um because this is a really nice nice smooth surface to blend onto and then i'm just going to go back over where the join is with some of the um milled lavender just so that those two colours blend together really nicely so they become a little bit more blurred and a bit more um, airbrushed so we'll just add a little bit more colour and you can see that colour is becoming deeper now as I, as I add a little bit more onto the top oh hello there Clyde I don't know if you could hear that but that was uh, our cat Clyde making his entrance <laughs> keep getting interrupted by Clyde lately don't we here which is a really really pretty blue color um, so I'm just going to try and get um, an ink pad that's not got really dark blue on it um, because I'm not very good at uh... is that you knocking the door Clyde it scared me to death can, can you guys hear that? <laughs> you must be able to hear that. That is the noisiest cat ever. What's up, buddy? I think he's trying to tell us something. He's not happy. It's been sunbathing all day. He loves it. 
He's not he's not budged, has he, all day until we've no. come in. Now all of a sudden he wants us. Sharon was groaning at my B joke apparently. <laughs> um Jasmine Oliver says, I can't wait for my time for tea blending brushes to Yay! arrive. And Jennifer's advised that I'll better rest up. So, well, don't encourage him. Jessica says that the blender brushes are a game changer. They really are. Sharon says that uh, Clyde's hungry. <laughs> Jessica yeah. says we can hear him. <laughs> um, poor baby Everybody is abused. He's abused. <laughs> Claire says he's chatting to us. He's definitely trying to tell you something, isn't he? So I think Aunt's going to have to go and address the situation. How have you got in? I don't know. So this is um, a bit of background for us. And I, I, I don't mind that. Um, yeah, I quite like that. But I don't know what it's going to look like behind this purple. So... Let's, let's see what it looks like. We don't have to keep it. We can change it. But actually, I think that looks quite nice. I wish I hadn't done the darker blue. Um, I think it would have been better if I'd left it plain. So I might cut that again because the blue, the, um, the original um, ink that I used was a bit too... Um, it's a bit too blue, so I'm not sure if I like that, but I don't know. Now I see it, see it on screen, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so yeah, we'll not waste, we'll not waste it, we'll, we'll make it work. So yeah, so that's made for quite a nice, a nice colourful background, I think. I think that this would have been nice with a bit more blue in the background so I might see if the blue will go over that purple um, just to brighten that up because I, I like this contrast so let's give that a go yeah just to brighten that up because I think it, it um, gets lost a little bit behind behind the purple um, foreground and with the Distress Oxide inks, again, because they're quite opaque, you can go over that colour, um, even though I've already done it with the, the milled lavender, because it's light enough, the tumbled glass is going to go over the top and um, look really nice. And it actually has, has blended really nicely over the top of that, so I'm happy with that. Um, and I think that just stands out that little bit more now. Yes, I prefer that. I prefer that look. So let's just clean up my mess a little bit and just clean off my brush uh, with my microfiber cloth as best as I can at the moment. Um, I, at the moment I, I have really only um, cleaned, like um, washed a couple of my brushes. Um, so yeah, you can do that if you feel like they're starting to get full of ink. Um, washing them will bring back that uh, that initial softness as well but I've not had to do it with really any of mine so far and uh, you know I use mine all the time all the all time all the time okay so Jasmine says I only just got my first distress ink I'm learning a lot it's quite overwhelming sometimes it can be it can be because there's lots of information and as um, regular viewers will know I still struggle to remember <coughs> all the differences between the different types of ink um so i understand where you're coming from totally but you will want all the distress inks 100 percent. yeah that's what sharon said mm. yeah i read that so let's get some of these little uh, little um guys stamped out um to add to our background so I'm going to use some super smooth cardstock because um, I'm going to use my Copic markers. I'm going to be boring and do what I always do. <laughs> um, but then let's have a look at my card here and let's have a think about which, which little critters I want. So I definitely want my little, my little mustachioed man, little bear. Um, and he's a little cutie, isn't he? He can go there. 
I'm going to have them popping out of these um, these little holes, I think. Yeah, some of them can be popping out. This little guy can be kind of sat in front. And then he can be there. Yeah, that's quite cute, isn't it? And then um, they need to be holding some things. So I like the idea of the candies. They'd be quite cute, wouldn't they? And the cupcake is a cute one. And I don't know if Annalisa's with us tonight. I know sometimes she can't always make it, but she's a coffee lover. So we could have the coffee, couldn't we, there? It's quite cute. Julie says, um, I want them all already gone from getting two at first a couple of months ago. Now I've got ten. Um, That's it. You soon start building them up. You really do. So, and then we can have our sentiments. Yes, bear with me. So that might have to go there. For a bit of balance, I feel. Jasmine says, Leslie is her go-to at Heffy Doodle. Oh, right, for... Sorry, I for missed inks, that. For the inks, ink. yes. We're, uh, we're all struggling at the moment to get hold of the brand new colour, which everybody's gone mad for. Oh, what is it again? Speckled egg. Oh, that's it, yes. Yeah. Speckled egg. So I've got, bear with me, I need... Simon Williamson says, what do you call a big white bear with a hole oh, in his middle? Go. It's got to be a polar bear, hasn't it? A polo bear. Polo bear, that's it. Yeah. Um, Shabney says, hello everyone, got chatting with the neighbours over the fence after clapping. Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, that's, that's absolutely fine. You were, you were doing your bit. Jennifer says, my cat Oscar is trying to talk to Clyde, I think. Suddenly oh. came in yelling at me. Really? Boys. <laughs> uh, Julie Amazing. says, Harry says, hi. Hello there. Getting told off for not saying he's here. <laughs> oh, that's it. You need to make sure we know. Um, sweets, cake. All of the above. Right, so that I think that's kind of where I'm going with this, is my plan. Um, I'm thinking, so I've got my little bears with some of their, their treats, and then we're going to say, bear with me, I need coffee, cake, sweets, all of the above. So that's quite cool, I like that. And I might do my little checkbox as well. So, um, and in terms of um, stamping those out, I think I shall do them probably on black with white emboss. Anil has joined us. She says, so glad to catch this live. I know Yay! it's usually like three o'clock in the morning or something, isn't oh, it? Oh, I so. know. What, what time is it with you at the moment, Anil? What time are we on? Thank you for joining us. Bless you. Bless your heart. Right, let's get that on there and then we'll do a little check. A little check. Tick. I don't know why I worried that it was upside down because it really doesn't matter, does it? But let's pop that to one side and put that there. And then... Um, it's a kind of magic... <laughs> Half past one in the morning. Half one in the morning. Why are you still awake? Bless you. Well, thank you for uh, staying up to watch us. You, we'll probably send you to send you right off to sleep. <laughs> the perfect, perfect set sleeping pill. <laughs> it's past your bedtime. Yes, what well, past most people's bedtimes, I would say. Um. So I'm stamping this with some of my Memento Tuxedo Black. Um, I'm sure you've all seen me do that. Um, but for anybody who's, you know, new, it's worth saying, isn't it, what we're doing. Um, and I'm just rubbing over the top of these rather than, like, really pressing down because I don't want to squish my uh, stamps. Now, my stamps 
are very robust they're not very squishable but when you've got really fine detail you don't want your ink to squish in between the lines so you just want to be that little bit more careful with your stamping um, so that's why just rubbing over the top um, can help with that a little bit more because um, some of these really fine lines we don't want to um, squish them and that's the beauty of having the um, the misty but not the misty it's like the misty it's the um, stamping platform this is the uh, stamp perfect apologies um, yes because it means then that you can stamp it a couple of times if you've not quite got it the first time you can do it again just give it a nice little rub that's it just a gentle one a gentle rub nothing too too dramatic nothing still, too hefty he's still crying why is he still crying Mow. Mow. we are the most evil parents clearly aren't we he's trying to get in from he's that trying there. to get in there <laughs> persistent if nothing else so I'll just put them out of the way because we're going to do a little bit of colouring. So, I've got my little my What, little what sort of colours are you thinking for this then, Joanna? Oh, jo Joanna? Why did I get my full name then? Why not? <laughs> it's very unusual. Um, well, I'm thinking I want to do um, some nice chocolatey coloured bears, um, I'm feeling. But then obviously they, they their accessories have to have to match up quite nicely with my background, don't they? So let's think what are good bear colours. Anybody got any suggestions? I've got my little scrap of card, so it's always a good idea, I feel, to have a little bit of um, scrap paper or you can use the, the card that you've been stamping on just to test some of your colour combinations. One of the things we want to be careful of doing Clyde, is um, making him too dark because then you will not see see his face. Um, so the, the copper's quite a nice colour, isn't it? That's very dark, but it's nice. Um, I was thinking like the 23, 25 and 27. But of course, now I'm not going to be able to find it. So sorry that my arm is in the way there um, but I'm just having a little little look through some of my brown shades 29 is quite dark isn't it there should be a 27 in here somewhere so I've got a few different combos out 34 and a 35 because we don't have to do them all the same colour I did just pick out a 33, I'm sure I did. Where is that? There it is. That's, that's always a nice teddy bear combo, combo. So I'm just looking for my 27. There it is. Jasmine says, I always test my colours first. Go colourful like Care Bears. Oh yeah, Care Bears, they're so cute. I think they might clash a bit with my background though. That's my thought. Yeah, that's true. Now I've gone for I should have gone for a, a more neutral background and then coloured colourful bears. Or maybe done like um a scene. So doing like um some clouds in the background. Um yeah. that would have been cute with some colourful bears, wouldn't it? Yes. I think that would have been very cute. Okay, so I've got a few different combos of colours here. I don't know if you can see. Um, so I've got a few different brown combinations. Um, I don't know if there's an in-between for my E. No, I haven't got an E. It just goes from E15 to E18, or does it? Yeah, E18. Um, which is quite a big jump, actually. So I don't know if I want to go that far, um, but the E37 looks like that works quite well. Um, so this is always the bit that's like the most time consuming I find, is pu pulling out all your, all your colours. But what I have found 
really useful is having this um, this little um, place for them all to to live. Um, my little um, rotary type um, situation. You're gonna have to take a picture of it, or do I will like a want to. or something, so people know what you're on about. Because yeah. just saying a rotary situation means absolutely nothing. No, well, thank you. I haven't finished explaining. It's like a wheel on its side with different uh, departments. It is. It's um, it's what you have in your kitchens, basically. So it's, it's actually for like putting your kitchen condiments in, and it spins. Um, so it's very cool. So sorry that I was out of shot there. I was trying to find a, a, an extra colour there, but I couldn't find it. So it we shall we shall persist. The in shot. Well, they <laughs> they always are. They just can't be avoided, can they? Right. So let's have a look. Let's start with um, with some of this E twenty five. Oh, wrong end. Um, so yeah, we'll make him quite um, a, a darker brown I think so he's going to be quite dark brown oh I've gone over his nose I didn't mean to do that but yeah I wanted him to be like a chocolatey kind of a bear um, so I think it's my head in shot yeah it is isn't it I need to sit back a bit and remember that. <sighs> but when when you're colouring, you just you're peering, aren't you, all the time at what you're doing, just like trying to. And my my eyes are get, definitely getting worse. Um, def uh, particularly by the end of the day, I feel like they do start to get a little bit, a bit not tired, don't they? Yes. So, just adding a little bit of shading then around, so just around his, uh, around this this arm here because that would be casting shadow onto his body and then just here I'm just going to add a little bit of a line just to suggest some shape. Um, so I'm not going right to the edge, I'm just doing just a small line and then that will just again just give you the suggestion that he's... Um, He's got some shape to him, and he's round. He's got a little, a, well, a big round belly, because he's been eating all of the sweets. Has he got a name? Barry the Bear. Barry. <laughs> it looks like he might have like a, like a French name. A French name. Yeah. Why do you you always want to call all our critters by French names? Do I? Yeah. I'm sure we had a Pierre once. No. We did. What about... Pierre the Panda. Patrice. Patrice. Patrice the Bear. It's his moustache, it just makes him look French. It, yes, I think it does, doesn't it? I think you might be right there. Shabnina suggested Bernard. Bernard's cute. Bernard the Bear. I think Bernard would have... Um, a, a dark brown nose. Or Bernard. If you say Bernard, that, Bernard. Oh, Bernard. Bernard the bear. Bernard. Bernard the bear is very cute. In a French accent, Bernard. Bernard. Claude. Claude, that's cute. Simon says he looks like a Bruce. Bruce the bear, yes. I'm, I think I might be in favour of Bruce the bear. Anila says, Ant has so many fabulous, great, wonderful ideas. I thought of picking some up today. Picking some what up today? I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not sure. Picking up some today. Picking up some today. Based on your ideas. Yeah. Seems seems unlikely. Sharon suggested calling him Boris. Boris the bear. That's cute. You'd After have to our put great like leader. A blonde yeah, wig right. thing on his head. Yeah, he's too. He's too. Um, Dark isn't it now for, uh, for Boris. Rizwan has joined us. She says hello, everyone. Hello there. Have a little kiss. Hi there. Oh, I'm struggling because I can't find any of the colours that I want, and it's frustrating me because I know I've got them somewhere. So why can't I find them? Well, that's annoying. I might have to use this colour. 
but it's too light. Yes, I think it is too light. And Miller says I'm exaggerating, which is something yeah. I never do. <laughs> is it not? Hmm. Hmm. I think we might have to improvise slightly. Blonde wig for the dress up. If you did the dress up bears. A, a blonde wig for the dress up bears to make him look like a Boris. Yeah. You could do like a little um, tea tray. You know when he came out with the cups of tea for the press? Oh, and yeah. The, the teapot's your edge right in it. It's not now. It, it was then. Yeah, no, it was then. That's why I, I addressed the situation. It's uh, been very hard on me today. <laughs> so my boobs are getting in the way and my head's getting in the way. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> no, it is good that you let me know but after the event. <laughs> And a little podium. A little podium. A little podium. Mm. Stay safe, stay alert, go outside, but stay indoors. <laughs> say hello, but say goodbye. <laughs> Are you saying that we're getting mixed messages, hon? We did a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. So that's, I quite like that little mixture of colours. He's quite a nice warm. Yeah, he's a warm, warm bear. Warm bear, so I might add a little bit of that to this guy here as well. Bernard looks like he's been out in the sun. He does, doesn't he? He's got himself quite the dark tan. He has. He has, got, he has two, I feel like he's too dark, is Bernard. Yeah. So I may have to lighten him up, because you, you don't want to lose his features that's it you don't want his eyes and his moustache to get buried within his no colouring do you no so we'll uh, colour this little guy in and, uh, and again I've just I'm not sure about this colour now I've done it it's not a warm enough colour oh I'm having trauma with my colour choices today don't worry we shall fix it Because we can always re-stamp. Anilla says, someday give a tour of your coffee corner. I loved that board. Oh, yes. We'll have to. It's, a, it's only a very small corner. Yeah. So it wouldn't, wouldn't take long to do a tour, would it? <laughs> no. It's, but, um, it's almost there, to be, to be fair. I've fitted a sliding farmhouse door as well, which, which is what Clyde opened earlier. He's managed to figure yeah, out it's, yeah, sliding it open. Figured that one out, hasn't he? Little little monkey. Yeah. So the whole point of it was to keep them out of the office. Just need to put some shelving up, and then we're pretty much done. Hmm. No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Well, I'm not going to be in queue and standing there for two hours just to get some wood. I'll wait until you know the whole world is open again. Yeah. That's it. We're not in any any major rush, shall we? Really. No. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit of a better colour for it. Yeah, I could all have a virtual coffee. Yeah, you uh, you you missed your uh, proper coffees after we had the the shop. Not having a proper coffee was uh, was a bit of a disaster for that's you. That's it. Once it? you've had once you've had the best, it's then you know it's hard to go back to that instant muck, isn't it? So. <laughs> instant muck. But that's a lot of people are missing the the real coffees and the that's it. the Starbucks and the Costas at this uh, yeah. at this time. So you've been you've been very lucky, really. Yeah. I'm drawing on myself, um, that you've been able to, you know, have a nice coffee. Sharon says that we need a barista and that she's qualified. Oh, there you go. I know I've not learned how to use it yet, have I? No, the best thing is, Joe used to make all the coffees in the shop. I did, yeah. Because I was always in the kitchen. And now I make all the coffees I and was, still was, do all the yeah. kitchen work. I was chief. Uh, you do all the kitchen work? Mostly. Hang on, hon. Um, yeah, you, uh, you, I was chief barista and now you're chief barista, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so I feel like... 
Alison Jane Green says, OMG, Costa Coffee, I have a coffee obsession. Quite uh, like him, but I don't like him, so I'm going to re-stamp him. Lindsay says, I lucky I don't like coffee at all. I didn't like coffee until we had a coffee shop, and then I discovered the real thing, and now it's, you know, it's practically what I live on. Yeah, you do love, love your coffee. Well, I've not had one it? today. Um, have you not? No. That's unusual, isn't it? Back to crafting. Simon says he's been Back playing to today with his oxide <gasps> ink pads. Have Love you. how easy they are to use. So glad I bought them from you. Yay! My other brands don't even compare. They don't, do they? Uh, yeah, I'm in total agreement with you. Um, they're so much um, smoother and just, I don't know, there's something um, so much nicer and the one thing that um, I haven't done um, what you must you must try Simon if you haven't already is um, doing them on darker cardstock so like on your on a, a black cardstock um, or even on a craft cardstock because the oxide inks will um, will keep their color and their, their vibrancy so obviously they're not going to be the same color as they would be on white um, but if you were to use a regular um, regular ink, you wouldn't get the same. Um, it would just fade away into the black, and you wouldn't see the colour. But you you don't get that with the oxide. So it's something that I really need to try. I keep meaning to do some, you know, do um, something with that. Um, you know, stamping onto a, onto black with um, the oxides would be really cool. So, so yes, yeah, give it a try and see what you think. Right, so we've re-stamped two of our little bears because I wasn't happy with them. I mean, they're cute. They are cute, but I think they're too dark. So I wanted them a bit lighter. Simon says, ooh, I'll have a go. Ooh. Um, Sharon says, they're great to watercolour with too. Yes, that's a very good shout. They are very good. So let's lighten them up. So yeah, so I like to just um, I like to do my splatters with the, with them as well. So I'll just pop them on, um, just stamp it onto my acrylic block, um, and add a little bit of water with my paintbrush, and then just flick that off the end of my um, acrylic block and then you've got really nice coloured splatters um, for your background, it just adds a little bit of extra interest. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's one that's worth worth doing as well. Um, and if you um, if you do any kind of florals, um, like we did, we had the um, Thanks a Bunch florals um, which unfortunately have sold out now, but um, they were really nice to do in, um, if you were to heat emboss them in maybe a gold or um, silver, or you could do them in um, just in a, in a black um, embossed um, colour, then use your distress inks as a watercolour to colour them in. Um, and the embossed ink holds all your colour in place so you can just really do it very randomly and make a really nice um, random watercolour effect it's, it's really pretty to do I do like um, doing sort of floral images with an embossing ink um, and an embossing powder because it means then that you don't have to worry about really um, staying within the lines because the embossed area helps you do that. So same as we did before, I'm just adding some shading. Um, so from lightest to darkest, again, just to give that little bit of depth. Um, so using less um, colour as I get towards the darkest areas and then just flicking, using a flicking motion with my brush uh, tip to just then blend that through and then just a little bit of shading there 
and I think this is a better colour combination just because um, it's a warmer brown than I was originally going to use on this little bear and it's um, also you can see his features a little bit better so he's not going to get lost so now I've added that colour I'm going to go back in over the whole thing with the mid-tone colour to blend out those edges That just gives you more of that um, airbrushed effect. And again, if you use a flicking motion, as you bring your, your brush out and lift, as you bring your brush off the page, that again will give you a softer line. And then finally, going back in with the lightest of those colours and just blending those edges through using a little bit of a swirling motion there to soften those lines again the same around there and that gets rid of any kind of watermark that you might have um, that might be left and again just gives you that more of a airbrushed finish so you can't see any of those lines And then I think I'll give them dark noses. And then for the cheeks and for the bottom of his feet, we shall... Um, Anila says, sorry guys, got to go. She's oh, that's more than understandable. <laughs> try and catch up someday know. again. Yeah. Bye, Joe and Anne. Everyone good say night. goodbye to her. Good night. Thank you for popping in. Bless you. Um, there we go. Jessica Brumby doesn't drink tea or coffee. She's been told what? that it's not normal and that is correct. That is not normal. I can concur. That's psychopathic behaviour. <laughs> That's a bit extreme. True. <laughs> Annalise is here. She says hello. hello. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Hello there. So we we have done um, a coffee cup in honour of you, um, Annalisa, because we know how much you love your coffee. So um, Simon says, I like embossing white on white card, then wa then watercolouring. Yes. And Judith Kenworthy says in reply, that's a good idea. I've been trying to find disappearing ink but that would be similar effect i guess yeah it would absolutely yeah now that's a really lovely effect um sharon says the little hand dye in the crafty cat set is great for this set too to hold the little extras yes definitely yeah that's a good point because it will fit definitely um, and annalisa says in response to your coffee remark that she wished she didn't have a Starbucks addiction. <laughs> I know this is it. It's uh, it's tough in lockdown with these addict with the uh, with a coffee lack of coffee. 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 So we'll we'll just have to make some virtual coffee here. So just thinking about where my placement's going to be. I'm going to have the cupcake in the middle and then the coffee up top. So if I make my coffee. Drink. I love coffee, but I don't like coffee flavoured stuff like no, but I tiramisu. I can leave coffee flavoured um, sweets and chocolate, stuff like that. I can pass on all that as well. But actual coffee itself is like fuel. Yeah, you've become a real like coffee lover, haven't you? Yeah. Um, but you know, I don't drink alcohol, I don't do drugs, so <laughs> there are worse things to be addicted there to. There are definitely worse things to be addicted to, that is true. Okay, so I think we'll have a bit of a purple to go with our purple. Are your Starbucks drive through is not open in England? 
We have got mm. some open in England. Okay. Yeah, some Starbucks are open. I think some Mackey D's have opened as well. And when, I, when I'm saying some, I do mean like a handful. Yeah, that, there's not very many, is there? No. Yeah, that's right, Annalisa. says, us guys have an awesome espresso bar set up. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it was Ant's um, brainchild. Wasn't it's, it? it's the it's the fit main feature of the kitchen. Who needs food when you've got a coffee machine, <laughs> eh? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Sharon says they've not opened in Scotland yet with an angry face. Angry face. All right, Sharon, no need to be like that. <laughs> well, she's not happy. She's not happy. But yeah, it's it's. I do find it strange that we're opening in things in different stages, in yeah. different, even though we're part of the same country, technically speaking. Well, I guess you know some. What they've probably done, as as a guess, is open the ones that probably generate the most revenue. Yeah. First, and made sure that they've got all the social distancing. Uh, procedures in place there before they then roll them out mm. elsewhere true true that annalisa says in canada they are open she was saving so much money for the two months that they were closed <laughs> that's that's the other thing isn't it is that it, it um, probably has been quite good for the pocket well you say that but then after speaking to the dpd driver today you know he's doing he's doing double as many uh, parcels now so yeah, true. People are spending, I mean, you've had some stuff arrive from online shopping today. Mm. Well, yeah, it's not been saving me much money being in lockdown, to be fair. No, if anything, we've been spending more. Do you think? Yeah, spending more on, like, the shopping. Mm. I mean, we, we lost our online shopping slot, which I think I've mentioned before. Who was um, mentioning that? Which is really upset me and, um, so it's, it's meant that we actually have to go to the supermarket and do the shopping and now for some reason we spend loads of money buying things we don't even need but it still gets still gets eaten i was gonna say way. it's not that you don't get eaten is it so i don't know whether i might have done him a bit too a bit too of a brighter pink for my cupcake there Nah, it's like a candy floss cupcake, think? yeah. I'm a bit excited. Simon says, Defo spent more, too many great offers and new items. Okay. Yeah, you're right, because I don't know what anyone else's email inbox has been like, but mine's been bombarded with 45% uh, off here, 20% yeah. off there. Get it, wow. Definitely, it's definitely making the most of it, aren't they, with the offers and things. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to I tried to dull it down and it didn't work, but I don't know if I like it now. Just started um, getting things through for mm. Mm. holidays as well, booking well. okay, holidays. Oh really? Yeah. I've not had any like that. Jasmine says she spent too much during lockdown on crafty stuff. You can not, never spend too much on crafty stuff. That's my thoughts on it. Craft supplies <laughs> before, guys. Yeah. Right, so let's have a see. That's for that little guy. And then this one is for this little guy. So this one must be for you. There we go. Oh, these are... The, I do love the, these little guys. They're so cute. So cute. Little coffee coffee cup cupcake I do like that cupcake as well and then the little bag of sweets I did really like um, Natalie's um, take on the, the bears eating their sweets in the cinema I very nearly did do um, I just couldn't fit it on the on the set um, a bag of popcorn um, because I did have, I did think they would look super cute in yeah. the in the cinema. Yeah. So yeah, she she read my mind. Read your mind. Yeah. And I I I, I did also want to just mention as well that um, that I've seen loads of loads of people's cards and things on the friends page, 
and I haven't um, I haven't had a chance to comment on them all. There are so many new new pictures on there. I think I've liked them all, um, the ones that I've seen, but I haven't had a chance to comment. But they're all amazing. So um, if you've posted something on there and I've not commented on it yet, I do apologise. Um, but thank you so much. There's some absolutely amazing projects. Oh, and I also I didn't send you the name, um, did I, for um, our winner? No. Um, and it's on my phone, and I need to I need to be able to tell you that, don't I? You do. Um, my I don't know. It'll be on my iPad actually. Annalisa says what she's saved, she's spent on crafty supplies. Yes, that's the thing. See, there's always a silver lining. Simon okay. says, although having this time, I've started to declutter and sell on, which oh, means that he now has idea. more money to buy more again. That's a good idea. See, it's always good to have a bit of a de stash, isn't it? There's yeah. something that you've not used for a long time, and there's something that you really want that's new, then it is worth doing. I'll just yeah. go and grab my um, Ju iPad phone. Julie says oh, that thing. she's figured money saved, not getting diesel, can be spent on craft supplies. Anything to uh, to buy the craft supplies. And that, and as a single mom, it's always craft supplies before guys. <laughs> Manisha says, "So cute, all of these looks." In reference. Oh dear, have I let Clyde in now? Heavens. No, you're not coming in. No, it's not. Move. It's not come forward. That's annoying, but I don't know who it is. I just need to get the the name right. Um, where is it on here? Could we publish it after? Yeah, I did say I was going to do it live on here, yeah. which is a shame. So I'm sorry, I've been a bit disorganised again, and I did it all in time and everything. Didn't I? Yeah. You can be my witness. Yeah, you had it all sorted. I had it all sorted. I just needed to tell you and then I forgot to tell you because I'm hopeless. Um, and I can't get my um, Instagram account upon this uh, this iPad, so that's no good, is it? So we will post it um, afterwards, I promise. So, and we will um, we'll message the winner um as well, privately, personally, whatever those words are. Sorry, I keep uh, putting my, my chest into view, don't I? That needs to stop happening. I don't know why that is today. You keep the bosoms out of shot. I know, please. but I don't know why all of a sudden today that's become an issue. It's not normal. swelled up in the heat. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop it. Right, so we've got cute little sweets. So Julie says, I've decluttered a drawer storage and it now houses my Time for Tea designs pre-cut and coloured images ready Yay. to use. All drawers are labelled with what sets are in which. That is... That's organised as hell. It is, isn't it? That is got hashtag goals right there. And I love the idea that you've already got pre-stamped, pre-coloured, ready to rock images that you can then just, you know, when you're when you're uh, ready to craft again, you can just go straight to them and there they are. Um, I love that. I'm never that organised to get things done like that. Although, and I know I keep promising this, I do have a box of um, like half done cards or bits that I've done for shows and things in the past. Um, that you know are just crying out to be made into something. I mean, it's it's a crime that they haven't been made into something. I feel so that might have to happen. It's a crime. It's a crime. So I can't pick them up with my daft nails. Look, what's going on? I've got. Jen says, wow, tool, that's though. epic level organisation. Isn't it? And that she'll not be showing any pics of her disaster craft room. <laughs> Lol. I think I like him. Right. No, I like him. 
Jasmine, I have a pot with extra images that are stamped and then not used. I dip into sometimes. That's really, really cool. Yeah, because there's no point just throwing them away, is it? You might as well keep them for future projects. Yeah. You never know what might come to you when you're just sat in your craft room. Well, that's it, you know. And when you, you know, you don't, sometimes you don't know what you need to make for someone. So, you know, you, you're waiting for that, um, that uh, kind of that occasion. And then you'll be like, oh, right, yeah, I've got a time for tea stamp that works perfectly with that. You know. So that's me. Ah. There you go. Yeah. Right, so there we go. I quite like this. Now then, the sticking to my fingers, stop doing that. So I might do, um, so because we've done that onto white with the black, the black with the white would be the flip wouldn't it? Unless I heat emboss that. No, I just get stamped on. You love, you love a bit of heat embossing. I do you? love a bit of heat embossing, I have to say. I am quite keen on a bit of heat embossing onto some black cardstock. It is quite the thing. I've got a bit of my washi tape stuck to that. I feel like this is a bit too scrappy. Let's see if I've got any better. Oh, that's better, isn't it? That better. So I've now got my um, anti-static bag all over there, knock some of that off, wipe my surface because it's gone everywhere, um, but that's, that's what we want, we want it to be nicely covered so that we don't get any spots. Um, I'm going to stick that in there and then we can line up all of our sentiments that we know that we're going to be using. So we've got all of the above and I'm just going to just brush it off slightly because it's a little bit dusty. There we go. Um, I always have, I use this brush, it's a nice, lovely sized brush for um, we're just adding a little bit of the um, anti-static in my shaker cards so I just scoop a little bit of it up and then pop it into my shaker cards which um, is quite handy to do stop sticking to my nails there we go and then we've put that one there I'm just going to make sure that that's lined up with the top so that we know not going to move. Move you up there because I'm what I'm doing um, is positioning them so that I've got enough room for my um, for my die to cut them out because we will obviously we'll want to cut them out afterwards. So I just want to make sure that I've uh, lined them up right to do that and left enough you know enough of a gap around the outside. Alison says it's one thing she's never tried, she'll end up burning the hair off her arms. <laughs> Doing what? Heat embossing. Heat embossing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you won't. You won't. It's it's actually the, the most difficult thing about the heat embossing is is just managing that static. The rest of it is very easy and and the effect of it is so cool. And watching things um, that are embossed is is so cool. Watching it change and transform is pretty amazing. So I think we're we're all right with those there. So I do have some of my um, embossing ink here, and. Simon says anti-static bags are like a magical. So much powder comes out, yet they never seem to get empty. They're never empty. I know that is. It is weird. It's one of those strange, crafty phenomenons. Julie says one thing I've never got round to purchasing. Must put one in the basket for the next time for tea shopping spree. Yes. Um, do we actually do we're, have any? Well, well, I was just we did stock some, but we are now out of stock of that and. 
my our current suppliers are still closed because of um you know the current situation so i can't actually get a hold of any at the moment um so um so yes yeah, so you bear with me for when everybody's back open um, sharon says she's had hers for 18 years and it's still going strong unlike her actually i know where i could get some actually i know where i can get some i do angie mcchesney's joined us she says oh i'm very late tonight naughty step for me <laughs> definitely the naughty step for you simon says lady. for me to get my uh, sewing machine out <laughs> what are you getting your sewing machine so i'll make some anti-static oh right <laughs> Honestly, you have to explain every joke. I know, to sorry. Just don't get it's all. because I'm I'm trying to trying to concentrate on my crafting and I'm trying to listen to you as well and and you know it's quite hard. <laughs> it's very hard. hard. It's hard for me. It's <laughs> so difficult. I find it difficult. So what I'm thinking is is that we do have um, a good friend of ours, um, Thirsty Brush, who brought out her own range of um, inks. Uh, not inks, um, embossing powders um, and embossing um, ink. Um, so, and they are excellent. So yeah, so I might be able to get hold of some from her actually. So we'll have a, see what we can do. Um, so I'm just giving it a little bit of a tap there so that um, all of the little extra little bits that we don't want to stick onto the back of, uh, to the background have gone and then I can just dispense that back into my pot um, and close that up have you got anybody in mind that you think you might give this card to or are you just crafting for I'm the just fun crafting of it? for the fun sorry about the noise so I'm heating up my uh, my gun first so if you're gonna try this don't burn off the uh, hairs on your arms, but do just let it heat up a little bit first. And then I'm going to just apply this on top so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, and you'll start to see the colour change, um, the powder change, so. There we go. Just move that across. Don't have it too close, but can get quite close. And that you see, just by heating it up for a few seconds before, has prevented uh, my uh, my cardstock from warping too much. So there there will be a little bit of giving it, but that will go um, once you stick it down. But if you were to um, not uh, uh, you know heat it up a little bit beforehand, then you would probably have more of a warp a warpage. So I'm grabbing a couple of my sentiment dies here um, that are all stuck together because I've got a magnet holding them all together. Oh dear, I think the great escape is happening. Yeah, it's climbed through, it's climbed into the recycling Has box. It climbed? <laughs> he's very, very determined. Did you, did you feed him? But he's yes. still not, he's not happy. He wants mummy's knee, that's what he wants. Well, this I'm very not, busy. This is not for cats in here. No. Oh, listen to him. They're such bad parents. That's cool. So, I'm using a couple of the sentiment dies that we've got in a few of our different... Hey um Hi, Clyde. Oh, do you want to say hello to everyone, Clyde? No, he's not. He's not feeling it, is he? Bless him. So I'm just going to grab a little tissue here and I'm just going to buff the surface now that's dried a little bit and is fully set I can buff that back a little bit and remove some of that anti-static powder and then that gives us a really nice um, nice crisp finish so um, and yes like I say I've got some of the sentiment dyes that are in some of our um, dye um, sets um, just to see which ones I think would look quite nice. I do like um, a banner strip and that one seems to fit quite nicely so we'll, um, we'll use that one and I know that I'm not going to use this, this bit at this end so that's why I'm just positioning it where I want the little banner, the little flag banner to be. 
Um, so this we are going to cut this these out. I think we're going to use the same same banner because of the width of it for each one. So it's going to take a little bit of cutting out. So just bear with. But um, I would much rather do this and use the banner die um, than try and cut it myself because I just can't cut a straight line to save my life. Even with a trimmer, it's just not happening. Um, the, the dies make it so much easier for me. So um, definitely uh, helping with that. So. That might make a little bit of a noise while we just pop that through there. So yeah, this is starting to come together now. So now I've got to think about how am I going to um, add my um, my little bears? Because I'm, I think I might have some of them poking through those little holes. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice, nice size, you see. Yeah. If I'd done those a bit closer together, I wonder if I could... Hmm. No. I'm going to do it like this instead. I can hear you eating things. What are you eating over there? Pringles. <gasps> are they actual Pringles as well? Oh my goodness, that is so bad. It's so bad when I can't. <laughs> so that one's going through there. And while while we're cutting some of our da uh, some of our sentiments out, oh, this is going to be cute. I think we'll have we'll add some of the accessories to the little paws. Jasmine says that she's had a die cut machine for about a month now, and she loves it. Oh, loves it can't speak. Um, Leslie donated me her old, oh that's really good of her, that's good. I've, um, I gave some of our old ones to um, the local charity shop before lockdown. Um, but I've had my Cuttlebug one, which is a manual one, um, for about a million years and it still works so well. Um, it's just it's obviously it's a bit more difficult when we're doing this um, because you, you obviously you have to run it through by hand um, and the the snap machine that I use um, obviously it just can just pop it on and it runs through and I can do something else while it's while it's working but they do they again they're another game changer once you you think oh do I do I really need to spend the money on one um, same with coordinating dies, you think, oh well, do I really need to spend the money on those? Could I just get away with fussy cutting? And you can, absolutely you can, um, but the coordinating dies make this so much easier, don't they? So much quicker. Yeah. It's like buying a, you know, a, a decent branded power tool. Because you can buy power tools from supermarket, you know, I have got I have got um, a drill from Aldi, for example. Yeah. But it doesn't compare to the Bosch one that I've got. <laughs> That's true. You can you can make do, can't you, with some things? But then there's other things that I, I think when you're starting out crafting, obviously there's it's a there's a lot to purchase. You know, there are so yeah. many different things, and if you're starting from scratch, you've got your cardstock, you've got your inks, you've got your glues, you've got your stamps, you've got your um, something to colour colour with, uh, whether that be your pens or your pencils or whatever it might be. And it's a lot, it's a lot. So you will tr you'll try you will try cut costs in certain places, but there are some some places where you just can't um, really or you you will realise that, that it affects the quality of your um, your work. And I definitely in the beginning spent a lot of time thinking that I was really ru just rubbish. <laughs> um, and then I realised it was because I wasn't using a proper quality of cardstock or I wasn't using, um, you know, the right tools to be able to do what I needed to do. 
Um, so, yeah, it definitely makes a difference. The Cuttlebug is the one that uh, Leslie sent to Jasmine. Oh, there you go. And it's a great Angie one. uses the bug as well when she's in the lounge working and hubby watching TV. Yeah, that's because it's it is that bit quieter as well, a, man, a manual one. I've got um speaking of um um cheaper ones though, I haven't tried the Aldi one, but I know Aldi were doing a range of die cutting machines, weren't they? Um so but I've got a little one from, um, I think from Craft Stash. And whenever I take it to shows, everybody's like, oh my God, that's so cute, because it is tiny. But when you're just doing small um, small elements like this, um, you don't need a giant machine that costs hundreds of pounds. Um, you only need a small one. Um, and, and that one is so convenient just to, you know, if when we're back, up and running again and we're able to have workshops and you might be taking them to retreats or whatever it's so easy so much more portable but obviously you can only use it for your smaller dies but a lot of our dies are, are quite dinky the coordinating ones and your sentiments and so on so let's have a look what we're doing come here Out of the way. So, I did kind of think that he could be popping under there, which is kind of cute, isn't it? And then, oh, I can't pick him up with my silly nails. He can be stood there. I love how your nails match the card as they well. They do, don't they? I must have been, I think he, actually, I quite like him in front of the the whole maybe little moustachio mustachi, man could be poking through yeah. Alison Jane Green says I was going through a real low with my crafting until I saw you on Create and Craft with oh. the unicorns and mice gave her a real boost oh bless you that's so lovely oh I'm so glad that we could be you know of some help and maybe a bit of inspiration because that's what we we hope that we're going to do that. Yeah, that's lovely, that is. It is. Um, Angie on. says, I have a baby blue for the tiny dies and love it. Oh, yeah, baby blue is very similar sort of um, size, yeah. Because I, I wanted a baby blue, but I couldn't get hold of one for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I couldn't find one anywhere. So, yeah, him poking out of there is very cute. So I've just stuck him behind there and then I'm going to put pop the rest onto some foam pads. And I seem to have got a little bit of water splattered on there. Amy Gould I quite like from it. Crafty Purple Hello Frog. Amy, how the devil are you? I am just joining but so glad you are still going, smiley face. We are still going, much to, you know, Ant's dismay because he's got to be up at four o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Bless him. I said I'd do my best to, to make it quite quite a quick one. Oh, good Lord, what is going on? We can hear all kinds of crashes in the background, which I think might be Clyde protesting. No, it's be Rosie jumping up at the door. She'll be oh, trying to catch a, catch a, a, a bee. Probably a bee. Yeah, outside, the outside door. Yeah. Yeah, she's got her... Uh, Honestly, the cats in this house, they're just trying to steal the show, aren't they? They can't let us get on for a minute. Oh, Amy got her baby blue from eBay. Well, I might have to have a look. Although, like I said, the one that I, um, that I have, I'm very happy with. Um, like I say, it's a craft stash one. I'm just, um, this is another thing about the Distress uh, Oxide inks, if you guys haven't tried this yet. Adding a, a splatter of water reacts with the with the oxide and then it creates this speckled effect which just adds a lovely little bit of texture to your background and it just really makes it um, just a, it just adds a little bit more it's just really pretty effect in the background so 
Um, I'd actually somehow managed to get a bit of water on there somehow. So adding a bit of extra mean, seemed to make sense. So let me get some of my um, foam tape and foam pads um, here. I've got some that I've already cut into little squares. Um, so, oops. Um, so that's to try and get some that are all the kind of the same sort of size um, and depth otherwise my um my back panel will end up a bit a bit wonky we don't we don't it sounds all kinds of wrong doesn't it so and um and i think i i also mention this every time and i still haven't done it because i still haven't sourced myself any foam but if you get a foam sheet and cut out the back, uh, the, the uh, cover die with that foam sheet, then you don't have to mess about with all these bits of foam pads because it will be the exact size of your, um, your panel. Um, and shape and it means that you won't see any of these uh, foam pads um, in the background because you'll have a nice solid shape so I do need to I don't know if I explained that well at all I feel like my brain is uh, not functioning um, but hopefully hopefully you, you get me you get me bro yeah so some of these I've just cut down so they're a little bit smaller because I don't really want there to be any dips um, here. So I am just adding as, as many bits as I can really fit on. Um, I'll just trim this one down as well um, because yeah we don't want we don't want it to bow at all especially if you're going to be popping this in the post. You want to make sure that it's um, <coughs> it's going to withstand the travel. Is uh, Amy managing to do any crafting, or is she uh, partaking in a quiz? <laughs> She's multitasking this evening, I think. But uh, she was hoping to get some crafting in. As we always are, all of us, aren't we? Any any spare minute that we can squeeze a bit of crafting in. That's what we try and do. So yeah, so now we've got a little mess of, <laughs> of bits of bits of fur foam tape there that'll just mean that we've really covered the background and I might put a little bit on the cupcake there as well. If only people knew what it looked like underneath. Yes that's it. You know, like when you make all these cards <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah nobody has to see nobody has to see any of the disasters that happen as well while you're doing them because we all we all have those don't we but then you know you just cover you cover them up with an embellishment or something and uh, it's like it never happened. <laughs> so now I've got to you've got to be patient with me while I take all my bits off off the back um, it did, what, did we establish if anybody was crafting along with us Anthony? Um, I don't think anybody was they're all chilling and watching that's yeah. good Amy says she finished the quiz so she's, she's not crafting just, uh, just, just chilling chilling and watching just watching chilling me. Just chilling just like chilling. a villain. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with where the card is going now. I've been, do I, I have to say that I have been doing a lot more crafting since lockdown, which is, which is cool. Um, I don't usually feel like I get a lot of time to craft, but um, I think the fact that so Amy and I. Um, and Leslie from Happy Doodle have a little bit of a crafty catch up each week, but Leslie couldn't join us this week. But we still kept our our um, regular time, didn't we? 
and yeah. and it was cool. It was. It's just. I don't know. It's nice. It's really nice to. I wasn't sorry. Sorry, go ahead. No, you said it was nice. Yeah, it's just really nice to have that time and it and make make the time. I think that's what I'm trying to su suggest. Yeah, you've been having a good a good old craft, haven't you, hun? Hmm. <coughs> I'm just gonna try something here to help me line this this bad boy up because I don't want to do it wrong. And it was something that I'd seen somebody else do. Alison Jane Green says she's crafting along. Jennifer Greco is colouring. Colouring? What are we colouring? So, uh, sorry, my head was right in the way of that. So you've not seen any of what I've just done. But basically, <laughs> I did use my stamping platform. I popped my card in the corner there and then used that to help me line up the panel over the top. Um, and that really worked. But I'm sorry that I had to put my head right over it <laughs> to, for me to be able to line it up. So you missed it. But um, yeah, if you're having trouble lining them up, that's a good um, way to do it. I would say. We can hear you, you know. <laughs> we do know we that, that you can hear you. Shall we ask if people can hear you? And what, what other noises are you making? So ask them. Is it fine? Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I should be in bed. Animals. Working with animals, me tonight. You should be in bed. What time is it, hon? 20 to 10. Is it really? Yeah. <gasps> right. Well, we're, we're almost there. Julie says, fab idea for lining it up as it is a struggle. It is definitely a struggle. Okay, so we've got our little guy with his coffee there. Um, okay, so, oh, did I pop that at the wrong side? So sweet. <laughs> what are you say? What are you laughing at? Sharon says, burp. Alison See, I says, told yes, you. we can hear, munch, but munch. There you go. See, ants of this, this strange illusion that you can't hear him because he's at the other side of the desk. But obviously you can because you all respond to it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But he's still, still not quite got it. That'd be fun. So Judith says you could hear the Pringle munching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could all hear the Pringle munching. Apologies for that. <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I have got a sore throat, you see, oh, so I, dear. I can barely swallow properly. So Pringles aren't going to help. I know, but I'm, I'm hungry. I've already had... The, I've finished the Haribo. I've eaten the chocolate digestives. Pringles are next. <laughs> Just an absolute gannet. They really are. I'm like a, like a dustbin. Yeah. Except I don't smell. No, you don't smell. I will vouch for that. So I feel no, like... You don't, you don't have to put me outside <laughs> once every two weeks. <laughs> I could do, though. <laughs> I could do with it. Right, so I'm just popping that through because I feel like it needed a little shape on the end so that things match up. So... Let's just do a little bit of snippity snip. Simon says ice cream. I did have a magnum earlier, so I've already done an ice cream in. <laughs> yeah, you have. Be unacceptable to do two in. There's just no, there's no filling here, is there? Sometimes. <coughs> I've got a couple of scones that I could have, but. <laughs> I'm not feeling You're not one. feeling it. Oh no, that's not like you to turn down a scone. Just What's everyone been doing then in lockdown? Have you been getting fitter or fatter? <laughs> what a question to ask people. They might not wish to divulge. Well, it's not compulsory. Feel free not to <laughs> answer that question if you don't want to. <laughs> um, right, no judgment I'm, here. I'm going to add these with some just with some tape but the back of the back of this guy's head is going to need some support bear with me i need coffee bear sweets cake all of the above 
Yeah, what do you think? What's your thoughts? Oh, my thing's yeah, got that's, that's jammed up. Perfectly, uh, well, it's just, it's just. This is uh, you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is who I've done it for. <laughs> Sharon says, and you wonder why your shopping bill is so expensive. Yeah, exactly. I know, we did. We went, um, what you know, did we go? Spots. Tuesday night after work. Yeah. I was so hungry. I literally bought, like, yeah, that's true. so many naughty things. It is the worst time to go shopping, isn't it? When you're hungry. Jessica says she's both fitter and fatter. Emma Ricketts <laughs> says she's fatter. Working from home and <laughs> too close to the fridge. <laughs> Judith says she's fat and more time for baking, that's true. I've yeah. seen loads of people baking since yeah, we've been into lockdown. Yeah, people are getting it's, excited about the baking. It's a we've good, we've it's done a, less baking. Yeah. We it's used a good, to bake all the time. Don't good we? hobby to take up is baking. Mm. But there's been, you, you know, probably making other half fatter as well because they're the ones that are having to taste it all and, and try yeah. it out. Sampling it all. Lindsay's eating more rubbish, but I've tried to counteract it by doing a three meal what? A three meal? Three meals? <laughs> <laughs> now we know what you're thinking Eating about. three meals on a three mile walk every day. No. Uh, a no. three mile walk three every day, mile wow. Walk. That's good. That's really good. Simon's joined Slimming World and he's been walking loads and lost £11 in <gasps> two weeks. Well done. Way. That's awesome. Just have to, yeah, you have to give me some tips on that, definitely. Amy's been doing more exercise, still not enough, but more as I have more time around work. That's good. Jessica says, lots of gym, lots of food, lots of selling, gifting items and crafts, sorted through old uni artwork, sorted all my photographs in existence and being creative wherever I can. Sounds very productive. So productive, making us all seem like we're just lazy articles there. Um, very productive, I love it. Jen says, fatter, blame the whiskey and the wine. Whiskey? Hardcore. Whiskey on the rocks. Wow. We do, we like him, um, we're partial to a Jack Daniels, aren't we? But I don't think I could do whiskey. Whiskey seems a little bit hardcore. I think whiskey's supposed to be good for, like, uh, a bad throat. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you have a, a hot toddy, don't you? Um, so you have it hot. A hot toddy. Yeah, I think so. Alice and Jane Green lost over six stone on <gasps> Slimming World. Wow. That's amazing. That is amazing. That is a definite achievement. Jessica says that no one is lazy. She just has a simple life. Oh, bless you. No, I mean, you know, I think going into lockdown, everybody thought, you know, I really need to do this and I need to do that. I need to learn how to speak 17 different languages. I need to learn how to write music and all of that sort of stuff. And whilst it's always good to set yourself goals and stuff, you know, anybody who, who hasn't been working or has been furloughed or whatever, I was saying to some, texting my friends earlier, and I was saying, you know, there's no reason why those people shouldn't be going back to work, you know, feeling refreshed and energised and... Having a good suntan as well, so that's some really nice weather. But you, I do, life still happens. I mean, if you think yeah. about the fact that people who've got children and things and having to homeschool, that's it. yeah, it's not that easy, is it? Well, children, you know, children is a full time occupation anyway, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Even when they do go to school, so yeah. not having them at school obviously is eating into into your day there. So we're lucky enough not to have any of them. Although the cats are obviously, as you can hear, being yeah, but we're fairly not, demanding. We're not trying to teach them mathematics. No, that's or true. Can you imagine? Only. Can you imagine? Right, so it's PE today. Can you imagine <laughs> Clyde with his study legs? Ah, oh, bless him. Um, well, we can't. We can't even teach Rosie how to use a cat flap, can we? So we're no good. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just turning this, turning it over, and just trimming these bits off the back. There we go, so that all lines up. Yeah, the, the JD, it's bourbon, isn't it? So the bourbon's nowhere near as harsh as actual no, whiskey. It's, bo it's bourbon so. what you drink, Jen, because I'm quite partial to a bourbon. I like, like JD. It's bur isn't it bourbon rather than a bourbon? You have a bourbon biscuit. Bourbon biscuit, bourbon. And a bourbon yeah. drink. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just what I'm thinking. Well, that's true, that. 
They don't go in up to the bar and ask for a bourbon biscuit, do they? I'll have a bourbon. <laughs> I'll have a bourbon. Just one chocolate bourbon. So I'm just adding a bit of um, glossy accents to the noses and then I'm going to add these to the sweets as well so that they look like sweetie wrappers. What's the other one that's like JD but not? Jim Beam. That's it, Jim Bean. Beam. Beam? Not Bean. Jim Bean. Jim Bean. <laughs> Jim Bean. <laughs> a bit of Jim Bean. A little Sun Bean. Um, and yeah, then that's nice. I like the I like the ones with honey in as well. So I've got I've got a major sweet tooth. I don't know if you can. Well, oh, yeah. Them. I don't know if anybody's realised. Um, so I'm just adding some um, a bit of shimmer. Um, some of my stickles because I love my stickles onto the top of my cupcake. So that'll create a little bit of a, a bit of a sh bit of a shimmer, and then I'm just going to add some highlights with <laughs> my jelly roll pen. Simon says he can't do manly drinks. It's lady pops and umbrellas for him. <laughs> Which, to be fair, that, that's me on holiday, isn't it? I'm always getting say, the yeah, strawberry you daiquiri. You do love like a strawberry that. daiquiri. I'm very partial to an umbrella through a, a little uh, glass of cherry. Yeah, we do. We do like that, don't we? Mm. And anything that you can put a, a, spr a, um, a sparkler in, I'm there. <laughs> Julie says it's a Thatcher's for her. Thatchers. I'm not sure what a Thatcher's what's, what's, is. Yeah, what is that? A cider? Sorry, my head's right in view again. Top of your head. Quite. I don't know whether there's uh, you've seen any any um, greys there. That would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? Um, so, and then the final little touch is um, some of this um, glaze pen. Um, so I'm just going to get it working a little bit um, to add some gloss to our to Bernard's. Mustache. Bernard. Because he needs he needs a glossy, a sleek and glossy mustache. I feel. And that just makes makes it stand out. So, and I think that that is finito. So I'll just give you a little bit of a closer glimpse of. Bernard. Sharon his... says, gorgeous Tash. card with love hearts around the Yay. face. It's kind of cute. I like it. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, it's all right. Oh, thanks for the enthusiasm. <laughs> um, no, so there you go. It's, a really, um, it's really good that I like how you've used, you know, the cheese grate, the cheese, what's it called? The cheese, the say cheese, the say cover cheese plate cover plate dye. dye that's it. But, but it in doesn't. A different way. But it doesn't look like cheese. Doesn't now. look like cheese. No, exactly. No. It's not even yellow or anything. No, that's it. And I've used um, coloured cardstock, which I, you know, again, I don't always do. Um, but what you could do in the background, rather than doing the ink blending, is use your pattern papers as well. That's another option. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I do really like the, the mixing up of your different bits of things in your stash. Shabni says, looks great. Alison says, amazing card. Lindsay says, looks fabulous oh, with love heart eyes. Thank you guys. Jessica thank Brumby so says, much. very cute, beautiful colours, in love with the bears. The bears are too cute, aren't they? Simon says he likes it with a smiley face. Thank you so much guys, you're so awesome for joining us. Um, it's been really cool. Um, Ant digging himself a hole, yeah. <laughs> Bless him. He does well, and he needs. To, I need to get him to bed now, don't I? Because he's got an early start tomorrow. So, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will be back again next week, and I am going to try my bestest to do a, an ad hoc one this weekend. So, look out for that. Yeah. Um, She's got no excuse. I'm working all weekend. That's it. He's working all weekend, so I shall be looking for some crafty friends to join me this weekend. Amy says, love. It's oh, with a love heart. Thank you, Amy. Bless you for joining us. Um, and I shall, um, yeah. So, and I will. I'm sorry that I haven't got the name of our winner um, to hand, but I shall post it um, straight after this um, in the comments, and then I shall get in touch with the winner direct and let everyone know. 
so thank you again and um, have a really great evening everyone and we'll see you again real soon see you next week see you next week bye bye, bye, for now. bye. au revoir bon voyage